Creating Skills, Education, and Experience sections. In this video, we will be adding a Skills, Education, and Experience section to your portfolio. This will take us on a deeper dive into text formatting options. We will begin by clicking text again in our layout menu and adding another H1 title in the same way as your introduction. This one should say Skills. Under this, we'll be creating two subheadings using the H2 formatting option. There are two types of skills you'll want to consider for your portfolio, hard or industry skills and soft skills. You can separate the skills section into two subsections if you'd like to differentiate your work-related and more general skills. In this case, we're using industry skills and soft skills. Click on the plus sign under each subheading and paste the information from your outline. and align the text to your preference. To keep things consistent, we are using center. You could also use the list layout options here. We will be exploring lists later in the video. Next, we will add the education section. Scroll down to access the layout options. Add your H1 titles in the same way as before. Your education section is the space to include both your formal and informal training and certifications. Your education is probably the most straightforward section in any resume or portfolio, but it's good to know how to prioritize the way you list your formal and informal education and certifications in order to achieve the most effective summary for potential employers. Check out our accompanying video for more information on this. Then create H2 headings. In this case, diplomas and certifications. Below your titles, paste the information from your outline. To emphasize your field of study, we'll highlight the diploma name and click bold. Then highlight the name of your educational institution and years of study and click italics. Finally, align everything in a way that will flow with the rest of your page design. If you have any relevant certifications, such as project management or applicable licenses, feel free to include this underneath your more formal education from a college or university. Then format these certifications the same way as the above diplomas or degrees. Apply bold to the name of the certificate, italics to the learning institution and years of study, and align. Your experience section is the place to include any work experience that might give insight into your current skills. Everyone has a different level of work experience, so think about every job you've had where you've learned skills that are useful in your chosen field. If you have no formal work experience, that's okay too. Think about volunteer experience or situations where you may have learned relevant soft skills, such as leadership or teamwork. Format these experiences the same way you did your education. Job title, company, location, and timeline. Once you've compiled a list of your experience, create an H1 heading entitled Experience and center a line. Then paste the first job into Spark. We'll be formatting this information by applying bold to the job title, then listing the name of the company or institution at which you worked, and clicking italics. Next, we'll press enter on our keyboard and paste the location and the work timeline. Once again, we will align everything in the same way. Next, go back to your outline and write a brief list or a sentence or two to describe the positions and what skills you gained. Back on the Spark page, we'll click the plus icon, choose text and bulleted list. This is where we'll paste in a small description of the relevant duties you performed on the job. Spark only allows lists to appear left aligned, so we'll leave it as is. Once you've completed your formatting for the first job in your experience section, continue in the same way with two to four more. Don't feel the need to go too in-depth with the descriptions of your experience, as in the next video, we will be creating a section to display all your projects and work samples. Here's a preview of what your skills, education, and experience section should look like when they're completed. To see yours, click the preview button in the top menu bar.